there's a pain and a tightness through here. And it can radiate like this and then down to here like this. It can make this leg feel weak. It can make your butt feel like it's not working. Nothing activates. But the pain when you lie on it, the aching, the throbbing, at night time especially, sitting in cars too long, sitting too long, wow, drives people crazy. The other test is side bending. When you try and side bend, it feels really locked right through here. There's even a pain that can sit here. It's insane. And oh, that just tightness compared to this side, it's nothing. It's like, oh, it's always there. And we have an athlete here today, five years of this, just insane. Can you imagine an athlete? Normally, everything's beautiful, and then this kicks in. And in females, it's common during pregnancy. It can lock in during pregnancy. This is a common one, so just to let you know. But that is a nerve lock that sits in this region right here. And right at the top of the pelvis, right here, top of the pelvis, through here. The glute minimus and medius muscle groups, but the nerves sit here. When they lock down, you get all that and it doesn't go away. And the worst thing is the more you get done on it, like elbow massaging, trigger balling, manual therapies, you know, cracking, manipulating and all that stuff, it actually makes it feel worse. You try to do all the exercises for it, all the best exercises, it makes it feel worse and it makes you think you're going crazy. Hello everyone, thank you so much for all the comments and messages about this pain I did on the previous video. Wow, so many of you are suffering this there's pain in the side, tightness, glute pain, radiating down into your hips and sciatica symptoms. It's insane how this stays with people for so long. Nerve locks in the glute minimus and medius, superior and inferior gluteal nerves. So talk to your specialist. You need a needle treatment, a needle treatment in this region. Obviously, for the sake of nerve locks is the treatment that I designed here. I unlock them, but wherever you are in the world, Try dry needling or acupuncture for trigger points. Try that to hopefully they can unlock some of the nerve locks sitting in this region of your glutes. This helps release all those symptoms. In the next few tips, there are exercises that I'm going to give you to help you alleviate your symptoms, manage your symptoms better in your day to day if you're unable to get treatment for these nerve locks. Right. Let's Tip number one is Gently foam rolling your glutes like so, and it's gentle. No pain, more than four out of 10. You control it by putting your leg on your other knee, and you've got to brace your body weight here on your hands, and you're controlling your weight in your glutes and gently mobilizing that glute region that we talked about earlier. The next one is lying down. You can use a trigger ball in the same way. Put your right leg on your left knee, so the right side is the problem. And you're just gently, again, the key is gentle. You're not causing more pain, more than four out of 10. The key point is the pain. A lot of people really get into this region with elbows and deep tissue massage, trigger balls, foam rolling as we did before, into too much pain. And that prolongs the pain or makes the pain worse as you may have noticed already. So therefore, nerve locks, they do not like to get annoyed anymore. Think of it that way. They are already angry nerves. Do not make them angrier. One minute gently, deep breathing, deep breathing, and then you move to a second spot for another minute with deep breathing. Use your breath to help relieve and calm down the nervous system. And then the third spot. You do no more than three with a trigger ball. And the same with the foam roller, which we did earlier. Just for three minutes, deep breathing, not too much pain. And that's the key. You're walking around in your day to day when you're doing steps, just walking, even running, if you're doing exercise, the key is not to stress your glute muscles to a threshold and beyond. And you've got to find that threshold. For example, in the gym, if you're lifting weights and you find, yep, every time I go past this feeling, wow, my pain is worse. So sadly, until you get the treatment, you've got to keep your activity, the intensity, the load, the volumes for your glutes at a lower level below that threshold and you have to find it. I also recommend everyone when they're going their day to day, activate your glutes, create blood flow, blood flow. Think of it like that. Whenever we're sitting, we're sitting in chairs, we're sitting in cinemas, etc. right? You're squeezing, you're compressing, you're making your glutes very acidic. Think of it like that. So create blood flow, always gently activate. You see, I'm saying the word gentle all the time. 
gently activate your glutes, create blood flow as you're doing the release exercises in this video. You've got to do this every day. So walking, so when you're doing steps or going upstairs, I want you to think about your glute. You're going up a step, right butt, left butt, right butt, left butt. It's gently activating and creating blood flow. But you must find that threshold where you know if you go past your glutes or that area, ignites the nerve blocks cause you the pain again and away we go so you've got to keep it below that every day in your day-to-day -day activities all right final little tip i love this one the pool water being underwater and stretching being underwater and stretching your glutes for minutes at a time because you're floating anyway wow that is magical for this pain try it out all right everyone that's it i hope these tips help you Comment and message me, let me know how you feel, and we'll do more from here.